is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and in honor of Jalen Brown getting paid the other day we also have another realistic rebuild to do so last night we saw the first two games of the NBA season I had fun watching them one of them went to overtime and I honestly think the Pelicans were really fun to watch and then the Raptors were Pascal Siakam is still good the Lakers and the Clippers obviously Kawhi still doing his thing and the Lakers actually ended up losing that game so uh, definitely an interesting first night. Let me know what you guys thought of the games last night But other than that guys, we're gonna continue to do realistic rebuilds So if you like realistic rebuilds, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and leave a like if you enjoy this one But let's go ahead and Get started. So the Boston Celtics like I said decided to pay Jalen Brown the other day and uh, I think he definitely needs to start to show us something because he thought he was a max player now He needs to show us that he's a max player. So yeah, I'm expecting that from Jalen Brown this year. He got paid. Now show us something is basically what I'm thinking. So I'm going to go ahead and move him to small forward, though. And then um, this is the starting five I want to roll with. We got Kimball Walker, Mark Smart, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Ennis Cantor, Gordon Hayward, Daniel Tyus, Robert Williams, and Vincent Poirier. There's so many players in the same positions. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is move Daniel Tyus to power forward. But... And then I think that's all we're really going to do. So, yeah, that's probably all we're going to really do for the first season. Obviously, I think it makes a lot of sense to try to trade Gordon Hayward this uh, season. So, that is something I will be trying to do. Oh, Jalen Brown actually moves to the bench now after that. So, Daniel Tyus. Because uh, Jalen Brown's a max player now, right? So, you might as well start the guy. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So, we're going to go, like, you know, something like this, I guess. We'll go... Actually, Robert Williams is supposed to start as well. I forgot they're not going to start Cantor. So, let's go like something like this. Something like this. Let me fix this just for a second. About 33. We'll give Robert Williams about 26 uh, off, you know, starting. So, yeah. I think that's what we're going to roll with. Uh, I think this looks pretty good. So, yeah. The Celtics have a lot to prove this season. You know, obviously, there's some players that want to come out and prove themselves. Whether it's Gordon Hayward, obviously now Jalen Brown. Or it's Kimball Walker now that he's on a different team. And now we can just go ahead and see how this Celtics team performs. I actually might stop at their trade deadline to make a trade for Gordon Hayward. We'll see what happens, but I'm going to simulate this first season. We're at the trade deadline, and as we all know, the Celtics need a center. Steven Adams makes a whole lot of sense because the Thunder are looking to trade him this season. So this is the trade I came up with. Uh, realistically, the, you know, the Celtics probably have to give a young player in order for the Thunder to want to take Gordon Hayward because... What's the benefit of them taking a 29 year old Gordon Hayward? At least I get a young player out of it. I really didn't know whether to trade Romeo Langford, Edwards, or Grant Williams. But considering Carson Edwards looked like Stephen Curry the other night in preseason, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people love Grant Williams, I decided to go Romeo Langford because Romeo Langford could be the future starting shooting guard for the Thunder. So something like this straight up. Let's see if they'll just take it. And they agree. So, yeah, we just got Steven Adams uh, to be our starting center. Because the Celtics are more of in a win now type of thing right now. So, that's why I definitely wanted to do that. So, we definitely have our starting center now in um, Steven Adams. So, let's go ahead and put him there. And we should be good from there. So, we're going to go Steven Adams, swap those minutes. And then we're probably going to go ahead and give Robert Williams those backup center minutes again. And then we're going to go probably about, uh, if I could... Yeah, probably about 15 minutes and then give Simi Ojale or Brad Wanamaker some backup point guard minutes because we don't have a backup point guard off the bench right now. And then probably just something like this. Yeah, it's not not really the best right now. This, you know, the bench obviously isn't great. We're going to have to fix that a little bit. But you know what? We're going to continue turning on. I love the addition of Steven Adams. And uh, this is the starting five we might be rolling with for a while, but we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and continue simulating. We're going to see how it you know, continues to go. Hopefully we can find our way in the playoffs and make a deep playoff run without Kyrie Irving. Speaking of Kyrie Irving, we draw him in a first round matchup to start off this video, which is very funny to me. So yeah, it'll be the battle of the Brooklyn Nets and the Boston Celtics. So let's go ahead and see how that would go. We have 24 points from Kim Walker. Obviously, I'd love to see a little bit more out of Jason Tatum with 17 points. Uh, definitely need him to get up there to like 20, 25 range because I think Jason Tatum could do that. And then uh, other than that, I guess, you know, Jalen Brown had himself somewhat of a step up season. He scored 16 points with a little bit more minutes, 44% uh, from the field, 
33% from three. So love to see that three point shot go up a little bit more. But you know, he did his thing. Steven Adams, you know, stepped in that center role and did his thing. The thun or the not the thunder. The Celtics have needed a center like Steven Adams for a while now. So they finally might get him this coming season, depending on what happens. But it uh, looks like the Nets are gonna jump up 2-1 on us. We're probably gonna lose, but you know, we are giving them a little bit of a series. We're up 3-2. Could we beat Kyrie right now? Wow. We just beat Kyrie Irving. Let's freaking go. That's awesome. So Kyrie Irving looks pretty stupid. Uh, 34 points from Kim Walker and 34 from Kyrie Irving. They even had KD healthy. That's awesome. We just beat the Nets, man. That never happens for me. So now we get to face our rival and the Philadelphia 76ers. As we all know, this is kind of a rivalry that's been happening for the past couple of years. These two meet up in the playoffs and, you know, the series go well. But we're up 3-1 on them early, 3-2. And we are in the Eastern Conference Finals. I can tell you right now, I was not expecting that this first season. What? Who is leading the way right now? Let's see what's going on. So we have 30 points from Kimba. Kimba is literally carrying right now. And we have 19 and a half from Tatum and 15 from Jalen Brown. So yeah, Tatum is literally... T you know what I just noticed? Ennis Cantor and uh, Steven Adams are like really good friends as well because of their times with the Oklahoma City Thunder. So they're probably happy to be playing together again too. But if we can beat... The Detroit Pistons, we might be able to win a championship early. We're up 1-0 on them. Uh, they're up 2-1, 2-2, 3-2 for them. Oh my gosh, why are we losing to the Pistons, man? Out of all the teams I have to play, we're about to lose to the freaking Pistons. All right, um, let's see if we can beat them in close matchup, but we are going to go ahead and force a game seven. 43 from Kemba. Now we're going to be on their home floor. Let's, let's get to the finals, baby. Let's get to the NBA finals early. Let's do it and it's not looking so good we're actually getting blown out we're down 16 at this point 102 104 to 110 we did make a little bit of a comeback but we were one game away from making it to the nba finals and unfortunately we weren't able to do it so the rockets have won the championship who do the pistons have anyway to be doing this their same old roster crispy would be happy but they got swept in the finals let's go ahead and get into the offseason though so we can Figure out what we're gonna do with this bench because the bench was not good. So we're gonna reject all of these. Obviously, we're gonna go to the draft lottery. I think we do have that Memphis pick that we could be happy about, you know, hang our hats on. So where is it at? Did they make the playoffs? Okay, it, it is top five protected, so it probably isn't gonna go to us anymore. It actually is. They barely, barely get their pick back by being number five, but we will have their first round pick next year now because it will convey next year. We do have the 18th pick overall, though, which is nice. And that's about it. So not terrible. Staff signing. Brad Stevens, of course, not going to go anywhere. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a better assistant, though, just because I want those better ratings. And then a better trainer, of course, as well. As we all know, like my good trainers for those three training camps. But let's go to the draft with the 18th pick overall and the 26th pick. So we had two picks. I didn't notice that. So I almost wonder... If I should trade Marcus Smart to give Jalen Brown that starting shooting guard spot. Just because, like, I don't want to trade Marcus Smart. Or should I just have him come off the bench? Like, I really don't want to trade Marcus Smart. But Jalen Brown is such a, he's being paid so much money now that I just don't like him coming off the bench anymore. Because I don't want him to go prove himself. So, I will see what Marcus Smart could bring me. But I'm not going to try. I'm not going to push it. Let's just see what would happen here. Covington because we need a power forward we definitely need a natural power forward that is my goal um, going into this so we have Kim but we have Steven Adams big contract Steven Adams is going to be fine and Poirier Grant Williams obviously we could just start Grant Williams I decided not to send anybody to the G League just because I'm going to try not to use that in these realistic rebuilds because obviously you know that's kind of a cheat code 10 players of the G League and they just become like freaking gods Jewish Randall and Grant Williams for uh Mark Mark Smart. That's not a terrible offer, but I'm trying to think of how that might be realistic. Mm, the Knicks get Marcus Smart, Grant Williams. I mean, Grant Williams is a young player, but the Knicks, I don't know, man. I think that I think the Knicks would like to hold on to Julius Randle. Although that could be the power forward we need. I just don't think I'm gonna do that trade. So let's just go ahead and draft a couple of players and see what we can get with the 18th and the 26th spot. Hopefully something good could fall to us. Maybe we can get somebody. Isaiah Mobley, I'm already seeing. I think I might take him out of USC. That might be the power forward we needed. And then for the 28th spot, or 26th, excuse me, uh, we got Ashton Higgins or Matt McClung. I think I'm going to go ahead. And actually, you know what? 
I think I might try to trade this pick. Dotson, Charles. I think I might trade this pick. So let's see the 26th pick. And let's see if they would, you know, maybe take a guy like, yeah, let's just see what we can get for the 26th pick. I will take anything. A, 22, a 2022 first round pick. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, we're just going to get a different pick next year. And then I'm going to be good. So we're going to go ahead and sim to the end of that. And we're going to be good. So that's what I like to see. We traded out of the draft. We got Isaiah Mobley, the power forward we might need going forward. And hopefully that is the case. So Isaiah Mobley, welcome to the team. And player options, Cancer Declines, Robert Williams, and Jason Williams, or Jason Tatum, not Jason Williams, uh, is back. Deontay Burton, don't see myself bringing you back. You just came in that trade. We have negative $16 million. Obviously, not a whole lot of money to spend in free agency, unfortunately. So, we're not going to worry about that too much. But, the one thing we do need to worry about is the bench. So, we got Kimba and Marcus Smart, of course. But, I think what I'm going to do is I think Marcus Smart is going to start... As much as I like Marcus Smart starting, I might have to have him come off the bench for Jalen Brown. I just don't know, man. I really want Jalen Brown to start just because of that contract. Let me know what y'all think. Should he start after getting paid something like that? Robert Williams is a good backup center to Steven Adams, which is great. Isaiah Mobley and Daniel Tyus could be all right to power forward. How is Isaiah Mobley's three-point shot anyway? Is he decent? He has a B-, minus, which is awesome. Okay, that's good. So now, um, really just need some backup... You know, maybe a backup point guard, a backup small forward, maybe. That's really all we can afford at this point. Jeremy Lin, Trey Burke, Gilgi Farrell. Because, I mean, we literally almost made it to the NBA Finals, so maybe I shouldn't go too crazy. Arkless, Marvin Williams, and Aaron Baines, Randolph. We need a point guard. Jeremy Lin is looking like my best option. So, I think Jeremy Lin might be the move, guys, unfortunately. So, Jeremy Lin, we're going to go ahead and get Jeremy Lin to be the backup point guard. And I think that's the only thing we're going to do in this free agency. Because obviously this isn't a great free agency anyway. But uh, obviously we don't have a lot of money to spend either. Steven Adams, we gave a lot of our money to him. You know, using that trade to get rid of Gordon Hayward. So I think I'm going to roll with the roster. We made it to the game. Almost made it to the NBA Finals last year. So I right, hang my hat on that. I kind of want, I think I'm going to start Jalen Brown this year over Marcus Smart. Or we'll figure out a way. Uh, I just really got to get the guy to start and then mark smart might be the sixth man or something so we're gonna go ahead simulate to the end of next season we're gonna see how this boston celtics team does in year number two end of the season anthony davis is your most valuable player lamello ball is your rookie of the year of the dallas mavericks interesting six man of the year goes to cole anthony on the kings anthony davis also wins defensive player dennis smith jr is your most improved with 19 points per game and mike d'antonio is your coach of the year Despite us going 59 and 23, it doesn't look like we got the coach of the year nod. Kimba does make the All NBA third team, which is good. All defensive first team. Mark Smart came off the bench and still got on defensive first team, which is nice. And then uh, we are the first seed in the East. So this is the rotation we're rolling with all season. I had Kimba Walker, Jalen Brown starting, uh, Jason Tatum, Isaiah Mobley, and Steven Adams. That's what I decided to do. Mark Smart came off the bench. We got Daniel Tyus, Robert Williams, and Jeremy Lin all coming off the bench. So not bad at all. So, um, as far as stats went, let's go ahead and see how that went. We had 26.8 from uh, Kim Walker, which is great. 27 points per game. Jason Tatum stepping it up with 21 points per game, which is what I wanted to see. Jalen Brown, not bad either. 17 points. I'll take it. And Mobley also had a nice 14 points per game in his first year uh, starting with us. So that is awesome. So let's just go ahead, though, and see if we can beat the Atlanta Hawks in the first round. I don't think this is just going to be some snooze fest. We're up 1-0 on them because the Hawks are dangerous, I feel like. At least in the NBA, you know, 2K world. But we're uh, up 3-0 on them at one point. And we beat them in five, which is nice. Now, we get to face the Chicago Bulls. So, that close that game, we had 25 from Kimball Walker. There was 23, 20, 18, 7. So, not bad. Now, we get to face the Chicago Bulls. Uh, we go, oh, no, they jump up 1-0 on us. We even it up. 2-1 for the, or for us. 2-2, two, 3-2 two, two for us, please. Win in six, and we do. Now we are on to the Eastern Conference Finals. We are facing the six-seeded Indiana Pacers. This has got to be the year, guys. This has got to be the year. What are the Pacers looking like nowadays? Let's go ahead and take a look. We have Victor Oladipo, Malcolm Brogdon, Miles Turner, and Sabonis, of course. So, yeah, basically that same team is still there. So, it's my current round against the Indiana Pacers, and let's beat them. We're up 1-0, 2-0, 3-0. And we have punched our ticket to the NBA Finals. Let's freaking go. Let's go. All right. Now we're facing the Houston Rockets. Not bad. Closeout game. Uh, 31 points from Kimba. 
and then 20 and 17 and yeah their team just didn't perform well in that last game now i get to face the houston rockets though so yeah good luck to us because we all know uh james harden and russell westbrook are gonna be a problem but let's go ahead and see if we can beat the rockets simulate curve around uh they're up 1-0 we even it up they're 2-1 three okay we're down 3-1 to start this series not good let's go to titan and i and hopefully we can come back in the series okay 114 116 i'm gonna jump in real quick and i'm gonna try to get a gameplay was just straight awful so you guys aren't even gonna see it i'm not even gonna put it in the video it was so terrible i was so bad it's not even funny so uh we are projected i thought i saw our names we are projected the san antonio's pick which is nice so let's see what we get we get uh actually no we don't the spurs get the third pick overall and we end up with uh 17th and the 28th so i thought we might get another pick but we do not so head coach brad stevens still gonna stay so literally we are kind of stuck at this point where we made it to the finals what do we do now do we run with the same roster or do we try to get some you know more talent here obviously i think we try to get more talent here i just kind of confused on how we do it so kimba is gonna stay and Jalen brown is gonna stay just because why not and then uh mobley marcus smart's the only one i could see myself maybe parting ways with at this point Let's just see what he might be able to get us. We can get Bledsoe, which would be interesting, but we have Kimba, Clarkson, Jonas Valanciunas, Marcus Cousins. Obviously, this was uh, this was like a few years ago. I'd be all over that, but obviously it's not. So Drew Holiday, uh, Jeremy Grant, Danilo Gallinari. I don't even know what we could use right now. So we have Tatum. I mean, really, we'd be trading for a bench player. So you know what? I don't even think it makes sense for us to get Marcus Smart or get Marcus Smart out of here. So. We don't even have a lottery pick. I'm thinking what we do is just let's just see what we can get with the 17th overall pick and the 28th and just see what happens. So 17th overall pick, Zara Williams is here. I think that's who I'm going to take out of USC. And then 28th spot, let's see who's available here. Um, Oscar, Kai Jones. I guess I'll just take Kai Jones out of Texas and call it good. So I'm not sure how those draft picks will, you know, apply on a video but welcome to the team anyway robert williams and grant williams gonna bring them in qualifying offers of course jason tatum i'm definitely bringing back there's no way he's going anywhere and then we probably don't have any cap space because you know we just okay stephen adams is a free agent so i didn't think about that um and then we got yancey burton ojale Daniel tyus who's a free agent and stephen adams is a free agent as well i could resign stephen adams which he wouldn't be bad, you know, to bring back. I probably have bird rights to do that. He's only won $16 million and we've made it to the finals with him. So I think it only makes sense to bring him back on like a two year deal or something, maybe even a three year. I mean, he's not asked for a whole lot of money. As far as other centers that might be available, we might uh, go look real quick just, just to make sure. Gobert and Drummond, I don't think I can afford either of them unless if I renounce like a bunch of people. So I think Steven Adams might be my best bet. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a three-year deal i think and we're gonna bring back stephen adams but we're definitely not renouncing the rights of jason tatum you got me got me crazy 2k if you think i was gonna do that so we're gonna go ahead and not do that and uh, we're gonna sign stephen adams and then we're gonna wait for jason tatum to get an offer which he has not yet which is interesting stephen adams welcome back to the team Jason tatum finally has a bunch of offers he's about to you know sign with the hornets but he is going to be matched no matter what so stephen adams is back with the team which is good now we have native 14 million dollars in cap space uh tatum and yeah we're not gonna be so basically the only thing we can do is afford jason tatum back so i think that's gonna be how it's gonna have to go so i think we're gonna roll with that so robert williams obviously we lost daniel tyus but we're going to give grant williams and carson edwards some minutes so steven At jason tatum might be the only player i could go afford like literally i want to make some big moves but i just don't know if i'm in position to do that Let's just wait for Tatum to get... Why does it keep wanting me to renounce the rights of Tatum? That makes no sense. Literally no sense for me to do that. No sense at all. For me to renounce the rights of Jason Tatum. He's literally the future of the Boston Celtics. But, alright, whatever. So we got him back. I just don't... I just question what other moves we can make right now. We could... If we really wanted to... We could trade Jalen Brown. Which that could be a thing. I could see what we can get for him. Because, you know, he is like a few years into his deal now. It's not like the Celtics signed him because they want to keep him forever. They could, you know, tr well, obviously they did. A, they did sign him because they'd like to keep him, 
but there's always that chance you know not really working out we could trade you but i'm not really liking any of these offers anyway john collins was the best offer and you know that's not terrible it really isn't we do trade a 2022 first round pick but john collins on the cavaliers the cavaliers already have uh what's his name uh i'm drawing a blank right now uh colin sexton buddy healed from the kings buddy healed is a little bit older but uh Buddy Heal, Jalen Brown. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think I might just stick with the roster we have because we have made it to the finals. Like, a, you know, been close to the finals both years we've been there. So I think I'm going to go ahead and stick with the roster we got. We're going to run it back for a third season. Hopefully, we can make it back to the finals once again. And then once we do that, hopefully this time around, we can actually win the championship. This season, we are 59 and 23, and we are the second seed in the Easter Conference Finals. So it's time. To finally put it all together and win this championship. So Evan Mo or Isaiah Mobley had 18 points, then uh, 16 from Jalen Brown, and then 12, and 21, and 21 from you know, Kimba and Jason Tatum. So, 2K, please bless me right now, and let's go out and win the championship. Let's at least make it to the NBA Finals again. So we're up 1-0 on Chicago, okay? They're up 2-1 on us. That's not good. They're up 3-1. That's still not good. Why are we down 3-1 to Chicago? Why are we down 3-1 to Chicago, man? Gosh, dang it, man. This is 2K. This is what 2K is going to do to me. They're going to give me false hope, and then I'm going to lose in the first round to Chicago, and I'm going to be upset. All right, we're all right, we're going to come back in this series. 93-118. All right, so let's force game seven now because I'm not losing to Chicago in the first round. That is just not what you're going to do to me, 2K. I'm tired of you guys doing this stuff to me. So, dude, we're going to get... Oh, my gosh. We're going to get blown out in games... Whatever, whatever, whatever it is, what it is, man. I'm just not destined to win a championship. I have literally just accepted that. I have not won a championship in like probably over 20 rebuilds that I've done. It's just been that ridiculous. I don't understand. Whatever. Whatever, though. It is what it is. So we have the Rockets and the Sixers. Of course, the Rockets made it all three years that I did a rebuild on here. And the 76ers. Nope. Rockets are going to win the championship again in seven. I think they won three in a row. So, three Pete. New dynasty for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the Boston Celtics. I think my problem was is that I didn't want to trade Jalen Brown because I made him the title of the video. If I didn't, probably would have traded him. Thank you guys. It's Crushables. I'm saying peace.